Hi, my name is Jeff Boynton. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I've been circuit bending for seven years. And I'm going to bend for you the CX500 keyboard, <laughs> made somewhere in China and discovered in a thrift store in the San Fernando Valley. Um, it's a little two-voice polyphonic keyboard with different sounds in it, uh, different... In and different rhythms. And uh, that's the basic gist of it. So what I do uh, to begin my circuit bending process is I open up the keyboard, exposing the circuits, and I take a photo of the circuit board that includes all the components I bring the photo into Photoshop and I number all the points, one through whatever, however many points there are on the circuit. Uh, I print out the photo with the numbers on it and then I systematically short circuit um, each point to another until I've tried every combination. I go one to two, one to three, to all the way to the end, two to three, two to four, all the way to the end. And I write down something descriptive when I find a, a cool sound. And uh, once I've gone through everything, I pick out what I want, and I will hardwire that uh, into an interface. And so these sounds can be activated at will. Okay. Um, I have printed out my picture of the circuit board here with the numbering system that I came up with in Photoshop here. And uh, I have already gone through and I've tried all the, the combinations and uh, you know, and I've made my notes as to what I found. Uh, so, for example, um, this one here is I connected point two to point nineteen, and uh, I, I wrote uh, great feedback. And uh, so, what I'll you know, I'll demonstrate. I'm, I'm I'm using a resistor box, so I'm not going straight with no resistance try to protect the circuit a little bit, but this is the great feedback that it and I can dial in less and less of that as I add resistance. increases as I decrease resistance. Um, another point that I found that was really interesting here is point 19 to point uh, 35. It's just like a, like a guitar going through a dis an amp with heavy distortion. So anyway, that's a couple of examples of what I found, but um, based on all this information that I found in the exploratory process, I'm going to design the physical interface. Okay, so I've uh, completed my notes. This is all my uh, exploratory process here, and um, I've gone through and eliminated things that I think are redundant, and um, I've decided that there's going to be uh, 11 different bends and uh, each one is going to have a pot and a switch to activate it. Uh, so what I do is I go into Illustrator and um, I, I've designed the, the breakout box that I'm going to have to use for this because I don't have enough real estate on the keyboard itself to add all these. Um, so uh, I've used Illustrator to create a drilling template. So these are the holes where the pots are going to go and these are the holes for the switches and then this is from my notes and this indicates which point two points are uh, on the circuit are connected so that's uh, that's my gonna help me for when I do the actual wiring so that's uh, the next step
Okay, so now I'm uh, I'm building my breakout box, which I'm going to make out of uh, wood and press boards. So I'm going to build the frame uh, out of this three quarter by three quarter. And, uh, the manly tools part. Illustrator drilling template that I showed you earlier. Okay, now that I've got my uh, little breakout box built and painted, uh, and this is going to go here, um, and the, the connections are going to come up through here for all the bends, and they're going to come up into my uh, plexiglass panel, this acrylic panel. So I've uh, already picked out all the pots of, of varying values that I need to make, uh, to make the bends work the way I want, and so now I'm just going to attach them to their uh, places on the acrylic panel. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm wiring uh, note triggers from the circuit board to uh, the 25 pin DIN connectors over here. So this will allow me to uh, trigger uh, notes from external sources uh, like a sequencer or a MIDI decoder. Okay. <clears throat> been at this for a while so I might be coming unglued a little bit here this always happens by this point so and <clears throat> I've wired I've done all the wiring for the breakout box um, I realize I forgot to drill holes for the pitch pot so I'm gonna have to go back and do that but right now these are all working And uh, I'm just attaching the plexiglass panel top to my breakout box. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> 